So this is Google Glass. You have several options for activating it. You can either do it via voice commands or you can use the touchpad that is up on the side. So, for example, OK Glass, take a picture. And I've just taken a picture. I've got a little light there. Um, OK Glass, OK Glass, Google, Barcelona. And now I'm getting results on the football teams. And I will also have results from several different websites that I can scroll through. And then it will give me a brief information about it, but I can also choose to go and view the website if I so desire. Um, it brings you all of the relevant information, so traffic delays, you have your navigation, current weather, anything that has a card with a little folded corner, you have access to more information. Everything is stored in a timeline format, so you can scroll through. You see the results of the Google that I just did, the picture we took, and so it saves all your information. Um, you can also share directly from the glass to the internet for social media. Um, so once you've taken a picture, you can tap on your touchpad, say share, go to Twitter, Google+, whatever social media, Facebook that you want. Uh, I'd really like to show you guys if I can find it. We have um, updates from different news, oh there's it, there it is, the New York Times for instance is an app that I have on here. And so then there's more information, it gives me the current headlines and I can choose to read more if I'm interested. Sometimes I will also receive video clips along with the different pieces of information. So basically, um, as far as other features go, you can also get directions. You can Google, take pictures, record a video, get navigation, send a message via SMS. You can make a phone call directly from Glass to your contacts, or you can do a video call via Google plus Hangouts.